All right, Miss Stevens, you can head home, but make sure you get that filled on the way out. Yeah? Harper, suspected appendicitis here. I'll get a surgeon now. Uh, just let me check it out, yeah? Hi, I'm Harper. I'm one of the doctors here. Do you mind if I have a look at what's going on? Yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of pressure on your abdomen, if that's okay. And if you could please tell me when it hurts. Yeah, there? Okay. Excuse me, just a second. Um, if you could call up to surgical, tell them that they me on the way. Then the surgeons need to make that decision? No, you call a surgeon, they tell you what you already know. Meanwhile, someone bleeds out in the corridor. We need the bed. I know what I'm doing. Um, I have a patient who suffered a tonic-clonic seizure at home. Okay, well, you should have space for them in a few minutes. Get your patient up to surgery. Go, go, go. Oh. Hold on, please, one second. I know you said you didn't want to work with me, but there's been a surgery added. What? No, there's. Check your list. Happened to me. Right, first off, heard. Hold off the press. Who sent it through? Harper. And she sent you? Yeah, but not directly. I don't know, it's just how it ended up. Perfect. We can do this, Joe. If you could find another nurse, that'd be great. Thanks to Colm. So, Mum will be asleep. No, it's empty. Yeah. Just need to toughen up. Was it a patient? No. <coughs> Something going on with me? No, I just, just need to handle it on my own. I really need to get back to work, Kate. Okay? Just tell me what's going on. It's true. <clears throat> He's cancelled me. What? Yeah, he's a friend. So, um, we can't talk. We can't even work together. Ouch. No, I, I understand, I do. He has to push me away for Harper. But they're not even together. They're raising kids together. They might fix things, I don't know. But uh, me and Drew being friends, it doesn't help anything. I thought he had more class than this. Well, don't you say anything to him, please. Okay. Well, you just lean on your other mates for now, eh? Come here. Seriously? I better get back to work. What? Nick needed a friend, okay? She was upset. Look, whatever you think of me, Nick's not like that. Leave her alone. He's beautiful. He's cuter than I thought. He's gorgeous. He looks like Blair. And you. Have you thought of a name? I'm calling him Peanut till now. <laughs> well, what do you think he looks like? I don't know. More like a potato than a peanut. You can't call your kid potato, Spud. <laughs> I like the name Dylan. Nice. Hi, Dylan. Hey, Cash, you mind if I come in? Yeah, have you seen Renee and Blair? Oh, uh, yeah, I just talked to them about the baby stuff I was going to give you. Okay. I thought if you were not going to need it... That well, it's not definite yet. That gear could be really helpful. You want to hold Dylan? Dylan? Yeah. Tash gave him a name. So did Renee and Blair. Isaac. They don't get to do that. Uh, yeah, they do. They're the parents. Tash is the mother. Let's get you some cuddles, eh? It, it's okay. He's all wrapped up in everything. Can you can still hold him. Maeve. It's okay. It's not going to bother Maeve. him. That's what you're worried about. Leave it. Maybe later. Oh, oh, so bright. <laughs> All good? But he's a stairs, eh? Hi. Nicole, I'm so sorry for falsely accusing you of having sex in the on-call room. It was a misunderstanding. I just needed a love in private. And now I'm out here and everyone can see. 
And what were you doing wandering around the encore room? Did you have your own hook up? No. I was looking for somewhere to pray. A likely story. Well, I have to hide my faith now, don't I? What? Everyone's judging me for bright shine, and I was never a member. Yeah, we know that. You did hold some of the same views, though. You've got to own that, Madonna. I'd given up on some of those views. Really? After Lovely hurt herself, I don't know, I just need to think things through, like abortions. You know, you could take a holiday from God. I'm sure he would understand. It's a good idea. Mm. Come hang out with us, either. You let them test your faith. They let people push you around. Papa? Yeah? I've got a cellulitis patient that I appreciate your eyes over. Uh, well, you tried on some antibiotics. You know the drill. Yeah, I do. So I know that this one looks concerning. Okay, let me get quick. Hi, I'm Harper. I'm one of the doctors here. He's confused, finding it difficult to communicate. High temperature, fatigue, chills. The infection has spread rapidly. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, it looks like it could be necrotizing fasciitis. We'll probably need to get him to theatre immediately. Can you just pop him in room two for now? CC, uh, can you please call Drew, but suspected necrotizing fasciitis. We'll need an emergency debridement in theatre. Yeah, and tell him to step on it. On it. 